Hey, what's up you guys? It's Tyler. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today, that was dramatic. Um, I have a health video again. Um, let me show you my new friend. That's my new friend. Anyways, I had my first cardiologist appointment and now I have an event monitor on and I thought I would tell you about that and about my appointment and blah 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 because that's what I do make stupid story times because I I would love to watch videos like this like I can't find people that post like their experiences with doctors because nobody does that this is stuff that I would want to that I'd want to watch so I'm making it um anyways <clears throat> I went to this cardiologist before by the way I have a whole series on like my health stuff if you want to watch that it's gonna give you more details on like what's wrong with me because if you haven't watched any of that you're probably gonna be confused um but yeah I went to this cardiologist before and it was to get an echo done so I wasn't a patient I wasn't like anything I literally just got an echo done and that was it and then we decided to make an appointment there for like an actual doctor appointment because um, they were nice so we decided to do that so we did it anyways I went Wednesday. Today is Saturday and I had a rheumatologist appointment last Friday. So not yesterday, but the last Friday. Um, but anyways, I was bedridden from the rheumatologist. These are two big words, dude. I don't. <laughs> the rheumatologist appointment on Friday. It was the 14th of April. This is going to go out later than that. I don't know when, but I had my appointment 14th. From the 14th to next Tuesday I was bedridden I could not move I could barely breathe I don't know what happened like I still don't know what happened like I don't nobody will freaking tell me anything um but yeah I had extreme chest pain not just like pressure it was a lot of pressure it felt like a truck was on my chest but it felt painful like extremely painful it's something that I've never felt before over a period of days I've had this happen before um, but maybe for like an hour, two hours, never days, maybe like a day, I don't know. Um, but girl, I thought I was dying. I did. I thought I was dying. Anyways, I felt better for the cardiologist appointment. I still felt bad, like because I was in bed, I guess, for days. Um, I didn't do anything, like I didn't go to work for two days. Um, I called out, so that was not great but I literally could not go in so it wasn't a choice um I couldn't really walk like I got so dizzy um I was very dizzy going to the cardiologist appointment because I had not really done anything hello people um I was in bed for days so I was dizzy I was tired I was exhausted um but yeah, we did that. They checked my blood pressure and went over history with my parent who was there because I don't know anything about my history or like my family's history. Like I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but yeah, we did that. And um, my cardiologist thinks that I have IST, which is inappropriate sinus tachycardia. I don't know if that's what I have. I think I have POTS, but we haven't brought it up or anything um but that's what she's thinking she's thinking it's I don't want to be controversial I'm just bringing this up because she brought it up um she thinks it's because of my C vaccines um which I don't I don't know like I don't I don't know um I don't know if that's the thing but that's what she's saying she thinks it is but I've had heart problems before then I'm pretty sure um, <clears throat> but I feel like we're just going on a conspiracy theory right now and I don't know like my health is a conspiracy theory right now I guess so that sucks <laughs> it's kind of funny but not really um, anyways I'm on this freaking heart monitor to see um, if there's anything wrong with like my heart function I guess I did the echo everything was good I didn't see anything they didn't show me anything they just told me I was good which is kind of frustrating that I can't like see anything um apparently I was good everything's good my heart as a muscle is good apparently 
I don't know. Um, so now I'm doing this. I've had EKGs done before. I had one done Wednesday and I had one done months ago and everything was good. Um, so I'm doing this for a week. It's Zio. It's a Zio patch. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know. It's like Zio XT something. Um, this thing, I hate this thing. I hate this thing so much. I will tell you about it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'll tell you about it in a minute. But anyways, back to the appointment. I also have to get a stress test done in a few weeks. So um, I'm going to be walking on a treadmill because I can't run. I'm like medically not allowed to run anymore, I guess. So I'm 20 years old and I'm not allowed to run. Like I'm just not allowed to run because I could die. Yay! <laughs> I love my life, dude. Um, sorry, it's just sad for me because I love to run. Like, I I used to run all the time as a kid. I used to run all the time, but I loved it. Um, but yeah, anyways, it's sad. Um, but I have to do a stress test. I don't really know fully what that's going to be. They just told me to wear comfy clothes and tennis shoes, which I always wear comfy clothes and tennis shoes because I have issues with my joints and stuff, so I don't, I don't know. Um... But yeah, I have to do that. I'll tell you all how that goes. Um, but it was basically like the same thing that doctors tell me over and over and over and over and over. Like, do, we'll do more tests. Everything looks good right now. But also, I do have heart medication that I am prescribed now. Um, haven't taken it because I'm scared it's going to mess with my heart monitor thing. Because I want this, I want this to monitor how my heart is normally. I don't want to take medication that's going to alter like my heart with my heart rate and then have this be incorrect I guess if that makes sense also I'm scared to take it because what if it has like a bad reaction and then I have to go to work and then I have to call out of work again um so basically I am this person is stopped in the middle of the road like idiot okay Sorry, I'm watching Florida drivers. I have a front row seat to watching everybody. Um, but yeah, that's that's the thing. I'm prioritiz prioritizing my job over my health right now. I love America. I love it. It's a choice, but you know, it doesn't really feel like a choice. It feels like I have to. Anyways, about this monitor thing. I have to have it on for a week. It's I got it on on Wednesday, and today's Saturday, so I'm a few days into it. Um, I hate this thing. First of all, it's itchy. It's very itchy. It burned like the first like day and a half. I think it was like burning. I don't. Apparently, that's normal. I don't know. Um, my skin was pretty red. Um, but basically, when they put this on, by the way, they're going to exfoliate your skin with a little skin shredder not really it doesn't hurt i'm being dramatic but like it's a little exfoliating like a little circle patch um and they exfoliate it and then they wipe it with alcohol like three or four times and it kind of burns because they just like exfoliated your skin and now you have little cuts in your skin and then they put alcohol over it anyways then they put the patch on i'm not a doctor so if i'm getting this incorrect like it's not my fault i was sitting in the chair while these by the way i had a um, a trainer put this on so it might have been it might be coming off because the trainer didn't put it on correctly I don't know but basically it's coming off anyways they put the patch on and then because I sweat a lot again something's wrong with my heart I can't control my body temperature um, I sweat a lot so they put extra like tape stuff on to keep the patch on um, so I have that and then that was like it they turned it on and they gave me a little diary i'm supposed to log um when i'm dizzy when i'm whatever when i have chest pain blah blah, blah. um i have to log that in a book but there's also an app for it so i've been logging it on the app and then i have to send this back i'm getting dizzy sorry if i'm like fading i'm getting dizzy <laughs> um okay need to breathe for a minute I'm gonna breathe for a minute <laughs> okay I'm back basically 
I have to log when I'm dizzy, if I fainted, um, if I have like arm pain, if I have chest pain, um, if I feel like my heart's pounding. There's a whole list of symptoms that I have to, I have to press the monitor, which there's no button. You just like press the middle of it and then it like clicks and then you log it on your phone. Um, but basically, why do I keep saying basically? I don't know. Um, I'm going to write this stuff down because it's in a log on the phone on my phone in the Zio app whatever so I'm just gonna copy that and put it in the book because I have to send this back in a box with the book I don't know how that's gonna go um because I don't know how to mail things but I, I think you just put it in a mailbox and that's it but I don't know um I'm not an adult I don't know how to adult I can't do it I don't know um but yeah, I have to do that for seven days. Um, the thing is, this thing is peeling off of me. It's still working. Apparently, if it's not attached correctly, it flashes orange. And it has not flashed orange. But I can feel it lifting. I can see it lifting from my skin. So, I don't know how accurate this monitor is going to be. Because it's not really on my skin very much. Like, if I... I'm having a hard time holding my arm up because if I move my arm like this, then it kind of unattaches itself to my skin, so I have to like reattach it. I don't know. Um, but like I said, it's itchy. It's hard to shower with because you aren't supposed to have soap or lotion on. Um, and I do like to clean myself with soap in the shower, so, you know, like not using soap, it's kind of difficult. Also, I use lotion every time after a shower, um, so I put lotion on. It's like, you want me to stop showering for a week? No. Um, so I have got it wet. I have put soap around it. Soap has fallen into it, so maybe it's user error, I don't know. Um, but basically, we're gonna monitor this for a week, if it stays on that long. And then maybe I'll know something about my heart maybe not um but yeah that's my experience so far maybe i'll have like a part two video or something like when i take it off if there's anything to really say about it um but for right now it's really just annoying um it's itchy like i said it's very itchy it's like uncomfortable because i can't fully move my arm like this like i can't or it's going to come off so I don't have full range of my arm and that's kind of difficult um but yeah that's that's it that's my tea so far i will see you next time i post with another update on my health why is there another phone call dude i think it's from that's so weird i have my bluetooth on It doesn't say there's a call, but it's ringing. I don't know. That's weird. Anyways, I'll see y'all next video um, with another update on whatever. Bye.